Hey guys, it's Stas here for another video brought to you by Beerco. This time we're going to talk about mash conversion and a simple test that you can do in order to see if your raw materials or your grain have been fully converted into yeast friendly nutrients. So the process we're going to talk about today is an iodine mash conversion test. Now this is basically um, testing whether uh, the enzymes in your grain um, have broken down the starches uh, into shorter chain sugars which the yeast can actually uh, ferment or consume. So taking a step back, a brief overview of a mash, I'm not going to go deep into enzymes or pH or water chemistry or any of that. Basically what happens when we have our raw materials, we have our grain, and the grain is basically a little, um, it's a little package which the the plant hopes one day that you know under the right conditions that little um, bit of barley might one day sprout into a uh, a plant to continue on with uh, with growth. Um, so it's got a, an energy source in there, which is in the form of starch as well as a lot of other enzymes and other things. So what we're trying to do is rather than use it to grow a plant, we want to uh, manipulate that process, making the enzymes interact with the starch, which it's, it's um, the yeast is a single cell organism. It, it, starch is a too complex a, a food for yeast to uh, consume. So the enzymes break down that starch into shorter chain uh, molecules or sugar fermentable sugars uh, which the yeast can then consume and then the byproduct of the yeast consuming those sugars in fermentation is co2 and alcohol uh, and that's how we get beer so let's talk about the mash conversion test basically what you need is a as a jar of iodine uh, you can get these uh, on online uh, from I'll put, put a link up here you can also use uh, benadine anything with iodine in it uh, basically you don't need very much you only use an eye drop if, if you've got an eye dropper you can just put one drop or two drops that's all you need per test um, basically what you're going to do is scoop up a little bit of your mash water uh, let it cool and put it on a white either a porcelain dish or just a dish or a, a white cup something that you can have it fairly thin and you can see the white underneath then as you'll see in this video here I used far too much iodine because I didn't have my eyedropper hand my dropper handy um, you put a little bit of iodine into the um, the wort which has been cooled if the iodine turns black or a dark purple, which you can see in this video, the first one does. This was taken basically straight after mashing because I wanted to see, show you what the black looked like. Um, the, the iodine will turn a black or a dark purple. Uh, if you, if the iodine stays sort of a yellow amber color, um, then there is no starch present, which hasn't been converted. Uh, by the enzymes into those shorter chain uh, molecules. Uh, so that means that you, you know that the, the process of mashing or sacrification has completed and you can move on to the next step. Another little cheat, if you don't have any iodine, if you look at your mash water, uh, when you start the mash, it's quite cloudy and murky. And you notice that as you get towards the end of the hour mash, it generally will clear up and become really clear. I've overlaid some footage. Um, that's also an indicator that mash is pretty much or sacrification, the conversion of the starches into the into the shorter chain um, sugars has been completed. So that was just a short video uh, on the iodine mash conversion. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, give the video a thumbs up or a like. Leave comments down below. And big thanks to Beer Co for uh, sponsoring this video again. If you uh, want to head over to uh, their store, there's a link below. If you use the coupon code MASH, you'll save 10% on your order for a one-time use. Um, and until the next video, this has been Stas. Uh, from Stas Brewing on behalf of Beerco, signing off. Cheers. Ooh.